Hello everyone, my name is Protesilos, also known as Prot. In this video I want to talk to you about a feature of Emacs that I feel can often be overlooked, uh, underappreciated and uh, perhaps uh, underutilized. And this is uh, the built-in documentation. Uh, I want to show you uh, some of the main uh, entry points uh, to the documentation on how you can make uh, best use of this to discover new features and uh, to expand your knowledge of uh, Emacs and uh, the various uh, functions it provides. So I will just switch here to my Emacs window and before I start I just want to activate screen key real quick. So now you can see uh, my key presses very well. Uh, so let's start with the info pages. Control H is the prefix for all the help commands. So Control H and the letter I will uh, open up a menu with all the info pages. The info pages are basically uh, the manuals uh, that come with Emacs. These are, of course include uh, the, built in, the um, official manual uh, and things that come built in with uh, Emacs, the Emacs distribution, the, the standard distribution but it will also include uh, manuals for packages that you have installed such as uh, Ivy, Use Package, Magit and things of that nature. You can use your mouse or you can use uh, standard uh, Emacs motions to move around uh, but when it comes to this sort of thing I prefer to use the mouse and let's say for example we hit this it works like you would expect in a web browser you click on a link and it displays the page and uh, you can uh, read everything uh, you want here. For example, earlier I was reading about recursive edit, trying to figure out whether this would be useful to incorporate in my workflow. Uh, and the, it, the info pages contain all the information you would find on the web. So this is exactly the same thing as uh, going uh, online and uh, performing a search to find uh, this thing. There is no need for that. You can do it from within Emacs and uh, use the motions that you are most uh, comfortable with. So that's it for the info. Ah, perhaps I should uh, open something. Let's uh, open, for example, this. When you are uh, reading uh, in an info page at the top of the bar, you will have links to the next and the previous chapter or uh, up towards the head of the tree. And you can, of course, uh, move around uh, this way and you will always find links uh, to more uh, things as you browse. It's very useful. I use this all the time. And in fact, this is one of the reasons why I was able to produce some of my earlier videos on, the, on for example, the directory editor, Dired, uh, as well as uh, Occur. How I have some very useful uh, videos on Occur. It is, uh, you can convert it into an editable buffer and work with that. Please check my backlog. I don't want to delve into that matter. Okay, so the info pages are your main uh, source of information when you want to go in depth and learn about uh, the tools that you are using. Another useful, uh, very useful uh, feature is Control H and F. And this is uh, the ability to describe a function. So let's say I want to uh, learn more about uh, kill, something to do with kill. Because I am using the package uh, called uh, Ivy, this is a framework that uh, narrows down uh, using regular expressions. So let's say kill uh, region. Do I have something like that? Uh, clipboard kill region. Let's go to... Okay, the screen key is interfering there. But please work with me. Okay, so kill region. It is telling me what kill region is. It is telling me that it is bound to those keys over here. Uh, and it is ex explaining what this thing does. Furthermore, it includes links to other functions, so, such as these, as well as a link to the actual Lisp code that defines this function. So if I want, I can go and check the Lisp right away over here. It's the source code right uh, 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 click away. And uh, if you are, of course, fluent with Lisp, you can uh, use this as a starting point for uh, something uh, more uh, bespoke, something uh, that you want to tailor to your uh, specific uh, workflow. That's very useful indeed. Another one that I find uh, particularly useful is Control H and then the letter V, which is to describe variables. For example, I, was, uh, I, I installed the other day a package called Minions. 
It's developed uh, by the developer of Magit. Look it up. Minions uh, narrows down the minor modes uh, that are displayed in your, um, how, do, how is it called, the mode line. It uh, uh, shrinks them into a single click and then you can access them from there. But if you, if you check uh, the Git repository, uh, documentation is uh, sparse. Uh, so you might think to yourself that there is not much to do with minions. But if you come here, control HV, you can find all sorts of stuff that you can do with it. For example, okay, I understand that screen key is interfering a bit, so apologies for that. So for example, minions whitelist, this is a variable defined in the source code here, and it is telling me what I can do with, with this. Furthermore, it is giving me an option, an option to customize it on the spot. So I could use the built-in uh, method of customizing variables. And if I were to save this, it would be stored in the custom uh, section, which is usually appended to the init file, or if you are like me, uh, to a separate file from where you can pick it up and uh, include it in your own uh, uh, configuration or it will just auto-load if you are uh, using it that way. Uh, very useful indeed, and this is uh, the control HV is one of the main ways of uh, finding out uh, how you can configure a specific package, a specific function. Very, very useful. You just hit control HV and then uh, start by searching for the name of the package or the function you are looking for, and it will produce all the results. It is uh, great. Another one that I find very useful is control H and the letter K. And this describes a key. So if I were to hit, for example, control H K, it is telling me what this is. It is bound to the command kill buffer. And it is telling me a few things about uh, this command. And it is linking to other stuff where I can find more information about. Very useful. And from there, I can jump again to some more source code and I can learn more about this uh, st by studying the real code. This is very good. But another utility of control HK is the ability to know how a key binding is uh, noted. Uh, if it is, for example, control HK, it is C uh, hyphen X and then K. But if it's something like, for example, uh, super and tab, let's do that. Let's now, I'm oh, sorry, uh, control H K. And now I, if I press super and tab, it is telling me in the echo area over here, it is, sorry, it is S hyphen tab, and this is enclosed in angled brackets. So if I were to go, for example, uh, to my file over here, and let's say I search for global, so something like this, I would have, if I were to define a key chord, with super and tab, I would have to use angled brackets such as I have here. So for example, this specific one, <laughs> serendipity, this specific one has to be enclosed in angled brackets. And I learned that because I did control HK and then meta return. This is very useful indeed. Uh, another thing that is very useful, let's close this. Um, is when you are working in a major mode, for example, this is org mode, you can type control H and then M, and this will describe you the major mode that you are in. And this is fantastic because from here, you can learn all about the mode you are in, including all the key chords and all the functions uh, within that mode. So you can learn stuff that you would otherwise have no idea that it exists. For example, prior to doing this video, I found out about this thing over here. It's org table create or convert from region. And I want to show it to you in practice. If you have a string, hello world, and if you were to have this as a region, if you press control C and then uh, the bar, I, I'm not sure how that's uh, it's called the the vertical bar. It will create a table like this. But if you have, let's turn on the invisible characters for a minute. If you have hello and then a literal tab world, and you were to select this region and perform this again, 
it will create a table using uh, the, the literal tab as a demarcation of the fields of this table and this is a very nice indeed so yeah I was able to discover this prior to doing this video just by uh, doing control H and uh, the letter M but let me show you where this can be useful for example I mentioned earlier uh, my video on occur but let me show you something else uh, I buffer this is another one of those things that uh, looks fairly plain on the face of it but if you were to do control H M you can learn all sorts of things about it for example I, I learned earlier that if you press uh, the tab key you can cycle through uh, your groups and shift tab moves in the other way uh, this can also be performed with meta and P meta and N very very useful indeed when you have lots of uh, open buffers that are grouped in various ways. Again, I learned this uh, by having a look at this uh, thing here, Control H M. Let me show you. Let me show you occur. Let's run. I don't know. Uh, let's search for uh, Dired, and let's come here to the occur buffer, and let's now do the same thing. Control H M. So this is how I learned about occur edit mode. Control H M within an occur buffer will tell you that by pressing the letter E you are uh, converting the standard occur buffer into an editable buffer as I showed in the previous video and you can uh, use the full power of Emacs to uh, edit text within that buffer uh, as you would in any other buffer. Again, I learned about this uh, by using the built-in uh, methods of Emacs for uh, studying documentation and discovering new features and of course from within uh, the control H M menu you can study more about the minor modes that are enabled all of the minor modes are placed at the beginning and then uh, just the names of them and then uh, information about the major mode and then what follows is all the, the information you would get for each minor mode by the way, uh, these things here, the uh, control and L, can be inserted. If I go, if I were to go, it can be inserted by pressing control Q, and then in this case, it's control L, and you can navigate these. These are, uh, I believe, these are called page breaks. These specific ones, and you can navigate those with uh, control X, and then the brackets. So control X, because these are very short, you cannot really tell that. So control, H, uh, uh, control X and the square bracket uh, uh, right moves down and control X and the uh, left uh, square bracket moves up. So yeah, that's the general idea of it. You can uh, spend uh, some time uh, in each of the modes that you are, the major modes that you are using. You can spend some time uh, studying its uh, own specifics and learn more about those. And this is very useful. It's something you should do with all the major modes you spend a lot of time in. For example, I am using uh, org mode, but it's something that I don't really know anything about other than uh, the basics of uh, uh, linking stuff and what you see here, the basic uh, markup. But other than that, I don't know much about it. And I uh, was studying earlier control H M to learn more about org mode, control H M to learn more about occur, control H M to learn more about I edit and uh, things of that nature very useful indeed uh, you should definitely uh, start using uh, the Emacs uh, way of uh, finding documentation because lots of these are not uh, to be found online or you have to perform lots of searches and uh, lots of uh, uh, trying and failing until uh, you find a gem uh, somewhere out there whereas with this over here you just uh, invoke the command and you will find what you're looking for right away. This is how I was able uh, in my very short time as an Emacs user, not even two full months, I was able to discover all these wonderful uh, things. And of course you can complement uh, the knowledge that you find here with information uh, that other people uh, provide in the form of uh, 
blogs or videos or things of that nature. Uh, I guess that covers it. Uh, thank you very much for your attention and make sure you check the Emacs documentation. Goodbye for now, folks.